Hi guys, so I'm just getting sicker and sicker, which feels terrible, and I've just eaten fish and chips, and again, it's not from not wanting to do the diet, it's not from not wanting to be back on it, or, or anything like that, it's pure and simple easiness, and I have no energy, but I, won't, I want to go away day, because whether I put on or lose... I don't let it affect me as much as I did because that's what happens, that's what happens in life. I am, I'm on so much cold medicine that everything's all wavy. I feel terrible. Um, I woke up this afternoon because I didn't sleep last night at all. And I had about a couple of hours this afternoon just feeling awful. I made my granddad some more biscuits and then he went, oh, can we have fish and chips? I was like, yeah, yeah. Because when we do that, I do, I have done before taken the batter off the fish and just add fish and mushy peas which is fine you can have that because cooking it I honestly don't know how it thing because it's being cooked in a big batter thing but oil but all the fat goes into the um, batter so you can eat the fish <laughs> I look horrible I look terrible I feel I feel as bad as I look just laying here watching MasterChef watching all these amazing puddings being cooked thinking how do how do people even cook like that? There's there's loads of women in our group who cook the most beautiful looking things, and I bet they taste amazing. They look like they taste amazing. I can't I can't cook like that. I probably could if I put some time into it, but this probably ain't going up. I just thought I'd better do a video and tell you all that I've had fish and chips and been really naughty and just. <sighs> and again, yeah, it's not from not wanting to do the diet or. or going so far off track or even like resenting last week it's nothing like that it's purely i i've not got the strength energy or gumption to get my ass into town and go do shopping so in in the pantry in the fridge i've got two tins of beans some celery and about 17 bags of apples because i do eat a lot of apples i do like that and yogurts so there was nothing i was making and my go-to when i'm poorly is like Slimming World Sausages, I will just cook a bag of them and eat the entire bag. That's what I generally do. But I've gone through all of them and I can't go down to Iceland. I could. I physically can. I just can't. Send help. I think you should... Yeah, everyone cook and send me food. <laughs> I'm good. I'm pathetic. I am the worst poorly person in the world when I get ill. My nose has stopped. I've been so tight but my throat hurts. Everything hurts. This is actually the best I've felt today. And I, I walked up to a fish shop. Not that that's going to, you know, negate the fish chips. White bread I had. I love white bread. You can't have fish and chips without white bread. It's physically impossible to eat fish and chips without white bread. Because I don't like... I eat... The other bread. Brown bread. Wholemeal bread. Yeah, that's the one. I eat it. But I think it's horrible. I feel like I'm going to be sick as well. That's not, do you find that when you eat like really fatty, fatty meals now that you just feel horrible and sick? Also as well, looking at myself, like not now, but when I've been in the house, because I, I swell up, I swell up like all my, what are they called? Neck bits all swell up and my face all swells up, so I look like a moomin. I always do look like a moomin when I'm poorly, my granddad says it all the time. How are you all doing? I'm dead bored on my own. I'm normally at my friend's house and I'm normally seeing like that their kids. Not my kids, my kids, I call them my kids, but they're not my kids. I love them. I saw I saw one of them on field as I was walking back, but I don't want to give them cold either. I hate being just stuck in. Because that means if I want company, I've got to go talk to my granddad, which is fine. I love talking to my granddad. My granddad's amazing. His name's Rodney, by the way, not granddad. People were asking Rodney. But everyone I know does just call him Grandad, so there we go. Um, where were I? What were I talking about? I ain't got a clue. Cocodamol and cough medicine, that's all I've done. That as well irritates me because cough medicine is so full of sins, like Cavornia and um, there isn't like a low fat cough medicine and it is all syrup and sugar. What were it once? I worked out a bottle of buttercup syrup. It's about 40 odd sins. And I can drink a ball of that in a day when I'm poorly. And then just sit there like, oh. 
Yeah, I can't, I can't remember what I'm talking about at all. Uh, I'm probably not going to put this up. Alright then. Uh, I hope you're all doing wonderful. I hope you're all really good. I can't remember. I think I did have a point. I think I was going to say something about something. Gone now. I'll figure it out tomorrow. Right, yeah. All be good. All stick to diet plans and don't do me. Do the whole. Because it is, that's all it is. Pure laziness. Pure illness. But that's what everyone does, I think. I don't think most people stick to diet when they're poorly. I'm going to try and get to weigh in. Uh, but I highly doubt it this week. But what I will do is I will get my scales out and go on them and, and do a comparison on that. So 16.3. So we'll go from that. And I think on my scales I'm 16 or five ish before like because mine are like two pound over always have been so we'll do it for my scales this week so i was i've got it written down somewhere i think i'm 16.5 on mine 16.3 at weighing and I'll tell you how much i put on because i will have put on this week but back on it back on it i keep saying that i need to go shopping i need to go shopping tomorrow everyone shout at me to go shopping tomorrow to drag my ass out of bed Get out of this room and go buy Slimming World food. Because that's, <laughs> that's the only thing I've done that I didn't do because I didn't go down. Right, again, later on. Bye.